Hi guys, this is Otto from Motorize It. And in a different video, we've seen all the pieces that we need to uh, create our own electric roller blind. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to all put it together. So all the individual pieces. Now, first we're going to start with a motor, which is a roll up 28 RTS. And we're going to prepare it to fit into this tube. Now, it comes like this as standard. There's a, there's a white ring here, as you can see, as I turn it. It's closest to the motor head. This is the part we actually need to remove. And there's a plastic part here, which we need to split to open this ring, which it basically is, and to take it off the tube. So you take a screwdriver, and you press in the middle, you need some force to actually open it up. And once you've done that, the ring is basically opened. You can take it off. Basically, pull both ends out, and it clicks off. So we've removed this white part. Again, I'll show you how this splitting of the ring works. You just press in the middle until it opens up. As you can see, it's quite flexible, so then you can take it off the motor. So this is the part we don't need anymore. We need this white ring, which we will provide. And this slides over and basically takes the place of the previous ring. That's it. So the ring is now in position, as you can see. You can turn, it's a bit open. That will be solved once we place the black ring over it. So you take it, you slide it over, put it in position. There we are. So the larger side needs to be closest to the motor head, so it slides only this way. Um, once we've done that, we have we are halfway. Now we still need something on this end of the motor to make sure that it rolls into the tube. We just push this over. There's a there's a crown shape, a star shape that we need to press in here. I need a washer and the screw to actually keep this in position, otherwise it will move. So you just need to tighten that. And then it can all fit into the tube. As you can see here, we just slide it over. press it in and that's the motor end of it done. So then we still have the other side where there's no motor and we need this ring here, this white ring which will go into the tube like so. You press it firmly that it's completely in place and this part will later slide into this part here. There's a small bracket we're going to need, um, which is this part here. Sorry, it's this part. And it, it has a, an indication, one says metal and one says plastic. And the one where it says metal should be, should be pointed towards the head of the screw. And you just press it in like so. Once it clicks, it's in the right position. And this will later on slide onto the bracket in this way, so with the plastic down towards the wall side. Once that's finished, you get this, so this is the, the cap, the bracket with the, with the cover on top of it, so this is actually how the tube is held in position. And these are the covers, which basically hide the mechanism and give it a nice clean look. Now on the other side, we need to attach this bracket, this small one, to the motor because these also need to slide over the metal wall bracket like so. So there's two screws provided. There are two openings on the motor, so you align the bracket 
you take the screw and then you tighten those so that's it that's a system all in place and in a different video we'll show you how to actually mount it to the wall and in another video um, we show you how to attach the fabric to it so if you have any questions about the parts about the uh, the, the whole uh, procedure or the mechanism itself do let me know the email address is info at motorized.it thank you and see you next time